It is Super Draco 380, and we're back for stage 44 of Build the Battleship Bismarck, the upper mass deck. So, the first thing we've got is we got our parts. All right, so first thing is, is they want us to glue the upper mass deck um, and uh, glue the decking down. It, as you can see, it was already attached, but so I'm just going to take my glue and just dab a little glue here and there. And then we're just going to press it in there, and there we go. So next we're going to take these two sections of the conning tower and put it together. All right, fits pretty good, and the gapping's not too bad. So we're going to put some glue on the pegs. Well, in my case, I'm going to put it in the peg holes and where the instructions say put it on the pegs themselves. There's a bit of seaming, and you could fix that with some thin cement, but it's not too bad, and I did actually uh, get it nice and tight on the ship itself. So, obviously, those two tabs are going to peg into the two slots onto the mast deck itself. Now, uh, the, you want the holes pointing you want the side with the holes pointing to the starboard side because the little outcrop on there is at the front so we're going to put some glue on the big pegs or on the tabs I guess you'd call them and we're just going to fit it in And there we go. So next we're going to use these uh, photo edge or photo reel parts and we're going to be building the ammunition hoist for two centimeter magazines. So the parts on there are one, uh, let me see, there are two number, or there are four, there are five parts on there, number one, number two, two number threes, and number four. So what we want is parts number one and part number four. Number one is the big uh, main frame section. Now number four and num parts number two are very similar. However, part number four is smaller than part number two. So what you're going to do is, is you have that spire in the middle of the part number one and you're just going to slide part number four over that spire down to the bottom. And you want it at a slight angle. And there, there we go. 
apply some glue down here just to keep part number four from moving around all willy-nilly. So then now we're going to punch out number two so it can rest on top of that spire or that central post, whatever you want to call it. Now there is a notch cut into part number two and you want that part, that part with the notch to be in the front tilting downward. So when you, when you insert part number two, you want to make sure that part with the cutout matches the tilt of part number four at the bottom. So then the little hole on that is going to peg into the peg on top of the spire or the central column, pillar, whatever you want to call it. In there uh, we're getting there and there we go okay we're gonna add some glue All right, and now with the number three. So what the number threes are going to do is you're going to take them, you're going to put them up through the bottom of part number two. There's a notch on them that's going to fit, or there's a, uh, um, I guess you'd call it a peg that will fit into that notch cut into number two. And then the loop will go on the arm on part number one. And I don't think uh, that's going to sound like it makes any sense till we actually do it. So as you can see, we're going to go through the bottom of part number two. And as you can see, I am checking and rechecking the instructions because this is not super clear.
So then we go up through. Now, as you can see, my number two came off. And there's a lot going on in a narrow area, so, you know, all this is, I'd say this is to be expected. And the only other thing to note is, is you want the longer end of the number three at the back and the shorter end that has a bend in it pointing towards the front. So then we're going to apply some glue so it doesn't migrate. And I know the camera is having a hard time with this, but it's very small. And I have yet to replace the black mat yet, and I don't think that's helping either. So now we're going to do the same thing with the other number three. So we'll probably just jump ahead till I've done it so you don't have to watch me struggle. And there we go. That is the uh, is the uh, ammunition hoist all assembled. So the next we're going to attach that to the upper mast deck. Alright, so we've got that long strip at the front, or the, uh, I guess you'd call that the bow section. I'm going to put some glue into that peg hole. And then there's a peg on the bottom of the, uh, our, uh, the ammunition hoist. So it'll just fit in like so. And again, the long end should be pointing at, towards the front of the ship. And the shorter end that curves outward should be pointing towards the uh, central mast. And so now with that in place we're going to move on to our sprue and we've got some lockers and details. So the first detail is going to be number two. So you want to fit detail number two onto the port side into that uh, slot right there so we're going to put some glue in. There's only one way it can fit so that's easy enough. Then, so then we're going to take locker number three and put that onto the other hole on the port side. So now we'll turn it around Locker number four is going to go into that spot onto the starboard side. And then finally we're going to put part number one into those two slots there. Well, that slot and that peg hole. Then next we've got two pre-bent railings and because of their shaping you can easily identify which goes where. So we're just going to uh, 
put some glue into the holes and then drop the two railings. and that's both railings installed so we're basically done with what we're doing to the upper mast deck in this section the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put that to the side and we've got to replace the an the ring the anchor rings because i think i talked about this way back in pack one that they were going to that hachette had uh, put these in in a later stage so now we're going to just replace those now, rather than me just narrating a whole bunch, um, this took way longer than it probably should have. So I'm probably just going to fast forward this to some music till it's done. Because you don't need to stare at me struggling to do this. The only thing I will say is, is that your magnifying glasses, a helping hands... Something like that is immensely helpful for this. So it's just as easy as uh, removing a removing the chain from a key or a key from a key ring if it were like one one hundredth the size so getting them off is easy getting them on is going to be the hard part so you know if you stay to the end uh, I think we'll take a quick look at the Bismarck before I go but if you decide to head out um, check back for the pack 4 complete video where I'm going to give us a little quick tour of the Bismarck. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you uh, once Pack 5 arrives.